What's good, gang? It's your boy Tony Russell, aka Hoodie Rush. You know what I'm saying, man? And y'all see what I'm ripping, man. Y'all see what I got on, man? Because guess what? Yesterday is how you come out. That's how you. That's how you come out after after losing to a team you're not supposed to lose to. Thirty-eight to three. That's how you. That's how you show out. That's how you show out for real. Because. Last week against the Cardinals, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. It was just, it was terrible from the start. From the start, from the first drive, it was terrible. But that's that's in the past. You know what I'm saying? That's in the past. We lost that game. Cool. We came out this week, and we did what we needed to do. You feel me? Um, defense played amazing. Defense played amazing like they had the first two weeks. You feel me? They played amazing. I don't even think the... Patriots got past the 50. Hold on. Is this a bug? Hold on, y'all. I don't know what to grab. Hold on. I'm going to grab this photo. Not this, this, this. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. Anyway, I think I got it. We're going to say I got it. But... Anyway, I don't think I think they got past the fifty like two or three times. You feel me? Like I don't even think they got past the fifty for real. Like they got past fifty at first drive, scored three, and then after that they were shut down. Shut down. Defense scored two touchdowns. Leighton Vanderash had a scoop and score off of Dante Fowler's uh, strip sack, and then Deron Bland baby had an interception for six. Did he have two interceptions yesterday? I think he had two interceptions yesterday. Like, I could have swore he had two interceptions yesterday. Like, the defense was going stupid. And, you know, Michael Parsons was generating so much pressure on Mac Jones, making him um, leave that pocket. They, we, made, we, made, we made Bill Belichick bench Mac Jones. You said saw Bill Belichick's face. This, he was literally face palming the whole game. Man, man was like, like, every time Mac Jones would, would make a play, man, like, he like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, we was making them look silly for real. Um, oh, I do want to say, I did like the tribute for Zeke. That was that was cool. Like, much deserved because, honestly, I love Zeke. And he should be, he should still be a cowboy. And when the Cowboys win a ring, like, he deserved that ring. You feel me? You feel me? Like, he should be a cowboy. But, um, you know, we played against him. And, um. Uh, I think he only got like four carries, you know what I'm saying? They did not rush him much. I think maybe four or five, you know what I'm saying? But we were shutting down that run regardless. You know, the run was not working at all. Nothing. They they couldn't get nothing going on offense, like at all. At all. I don't like, I don't even know what they did on offense at all. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about our offense, though. Let's talk about our offense. And, you know, we scored in the red zone once. I think we were right outside the red zone. When CD scored, so you know that don't really count, but it was kind of like we were we were down there. You feel me? It was only like a twenty some yard pass, but um, we scored in the red zone once with um Hunter Luki. I forgot how you say it, but uh, we should we should score twice. Uh, Schoolmaker he dropped a pass in the end zone he that he should have caught. You feel me? Uh, so we should have scored twice, but um, we're getting better. We're getting better. I can tell we're getting better down there. And it's just um it's just a maritime. It's just maritime. Like, um I don't expect us to keep struggling in the red zone. Like I said, we still struggled yesterday. Um we got down there a lot. And we get down there a lot. That's that's really the problem. Like our offense is not the problem. Because we get to the red zone, we can we can drive down the field easy. You feel me? We drive down the field easy. It's just when we get there, we can't capitalize, we can't finish. You feel me? So, um, it's just about finishing. And, um, oh, also on that same drive that Schoolmaker dropped the, dropped the pass, Dak and uh, Tony Pollard got confused about what the play was. Well, I guess Tony Pollard, I guess, I don't know. I don't know, but there was some confusion, and they bumped into each other um, on that third down run. But, um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a process. It's a process. I can tell that our offense is getting it together. Um... And we're going to be better in the red zone. We're going to be better in the red zone. I know we will. Um, but, you know, you can't really, you can't, 
that's what I'm saying. In a loss, you can't, or in a win, and 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 in a win that dominant, it's hard to find many things that went wrong. You feel me? Um, and a lot of people, like a lot of people, they're just very overcritical on Dak. Like I watched Patrick Mahomes yesterday almost blow the game against the Jets. Um, he had like one touchdown, two interceptions. They still won by three, but two weeks ago, Dak Prescott. Had nowhere near that bad of a game, and still people are critic were criticizing him. And Patrick Mahomes deserves that cr- same criticism and more in his win as well. You see what I'm saying? Like it just it's a double standard when it comes to Dak Prescott. You feel me? And it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. Um, Dak is a good quarterback, and we were actually airing out the ball a little more yesterday. And that's what that's what we need to do. We need to air out that ball. We need to let Dak Prescott throw that ball. When Dak Prescott gets in a rhythm and you let him throw that ball, it, it's dangerous for the other team. It's dangerous for the other team because he's going to make the right decisions and he's going to throw dots. He's going to throw dots, and that's what he did yesterday. And that's why we moved down that field so easy. And that's the type of offense I want to see from our team. Like, I know we've been moving down the field um, the first two weeks, you feel me? Um, you know, and that's cool, you feel me, but... Yesterday, I just felt like it was a different dynamic. I felt um, I felt a different confidence with the offense, if that makes sense. Like, it just see, it just looked different. It just looked different. But red zone, still a problem. Red zone, still a problem. And um, we're going to fix it. It's a big week next week. So, we got to fix it. We got to fix it. You know what I'm saying? It's a big week next week. And... This is a really important game. We play the 49ers in week five, man. That's a really, really important game, y'all. Like, that is a very important game. Um, You know, they beat us in the playoffs the last two years. And um, honestly, I, I, I do believe that um, had we faced them at least once in the regular season, one of those years, we... We we would I think we probably would be in the playoffs. You feel me? Like I felt if we got a fill out game first, we would have beat them. But um, nonetheless, this game is important. This game is really important. We gotta get our get back. Um, like I said, they beat us in the playoffs the last two years. They got our number, and uh, we gotta get our get back. And this is revenge. You feel me? Um, we gotta we gotta expose Brock Purdy because uh, that that Forty ers team they look a little bit too good. You feel me? I want to dominate. I want to dominate like the Bills did yesterday. That's how I want to. That's how I really want to come out. You feel me? I want to come out like the Bills did against the uh, Dolphins. You feel me? That's how I really want to dominate. You know, that's how I want to set our mark in the NFC. Because we play Philly twice a year, and we play and we play the 49ers, and I want to. I really want to dominate both of them, and I feel like we can. I feel like we can. I know that 49ers offense has a lot of weapons. Debo Samuel. Who hasn't he hasn't been doing really that much this season, but Brandon Ayuk, Christian McCaffrey's been dominating this season. I think he had four touchdowns yesterday. Uh George Kittle. Um, you know, they got some weapons. So um Brock Purdy definitely has some help, but I feel like we can expose him. And um Dak in that offense, they gotta they gotta figure out a way to um move this ball against that great defense. So it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game. You know, personally I want if we can dominate that game. I want us to dominate that game because I want because I you feel me. I want I want to show people. I want to show people like we for real. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to have a statement type game that says we're for real. And you know that's just my hope. But realistically, I feel like it's gonna be a really good game, and it's gonna come down to the wire. And you know, I believe in I believe in the Cowboys. I believe in my guys. I believe in Dak Prescott. And I think, I think that needs to be, that belief needs to be more, you know, um, that belief needs to be more, I don't know what the word is, but we all need to believe in Dak Prescott. Like, whole Cowboys Nation need to believe in Dak Prescott. Because at the end of the day, I don't care how much you complain. I don't care how much you complain. He's our quarterback. He's our quarterback. It's not going to change. So, you complaining about... Things that really, really he has no control over. Like, most of the time, dudes just be complaining to complain. Like, they just want this man to be Superman. Like, it's, it's just not going to happen. Like, you want this man to be Superman, and, you know, he just he's just Dak Prescott. You feel me? He's just one guy. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, it, and it really be, you know, it's crazy because it really, I, I'm about, nah, let me chill out because I'm really about to be on, going to rant. But it really be the old heads, like, because, you know, they ain't seen the Super Bowl in so long and they tired of that other stuff. Because if you realize, they were saying the same thing about Tony Romo and the same guys that are talking about Dak Prescott that were talking about Tony Romo when he was here, Miss Tony Romo. So, you, it's just like, they just be talking and be talking, man. They just be talking and be talking. Um, but I believe in Dak Prescott. I believe we're going to get this win um, next week, and I can't wait for it. I believe it is a, what, Sunday night game? So, you know, bright lights, baby. Bright lights, and we ready for it. Ain't no other team ready for it. Um, better ready for it than the Dallas Cowboys, man. We under the bright lights all the time, man. But um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you <laughs> smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, can you keep that nag ain't strong. And I'm going to be right here next week after we win, man. So I'll see y'all for another one. So peace.